Our government is taking action to improve tax fairness for all Canadians. A few minutes ago, I tabled a a notice of Ways and Means motion in Parliament that will allow us to implement the changes the budget proposed to capital gains taxation. This Ways and Means motion and the legislation that will follow it reflects the capital gains changes laid out in the 2024 budget and its tax annex. Taxing capital gains is not an inherently partisan idea. It's an idea that everyone who cares about fairness should support. In fact, the idea of taxing capital gains in Canada was first broached by the government of Prime Minister John Diefenbaker and his Royal Commission on Taxation, chaired by Kenneth Carter. In the Royal Commission's report, Carter memorably declared that fairness should be the most important objective of the tax system. He insisted, a buck is a buck is a buck. And Prime Minister Brian Mulroney raised the capital gains inclusion rate to 75%, higher than the rate we're establishing today. It's not unusual for a major tax measure like this one to be put forward in standalone legislation. That's quite ordinary practice. And I do think it's an important political moment for Canada and for Canadians. Um, We do think this is an important time for our country. It's an important time because we need investments, and it's an important time for us all to take a stand on how we feel those investments should be financed. And as I said in my opening remarks, I do think this is a moment when Canadians should be watching closely what happens in the House and watching closely to see how all MPs vote on this, I would say, defining measure.